What does Makati in Manila have to offer? What's here exactly? Let's take a look. Welcome to Manila, and in particular, Makati, Philippines financial district. A few years ago, going back to 1948, this was Paddy Fields. Although you wouldn't think it now, Makati has state-of-the-art high-rise buildings, lots of cafes, restaurants and bars. Makati is a densely populated financial hub of Manila. Nestled in the heart of Makati is Ayala Triangular Gardens. And these gardens have a historical past which I'll tell you about. The sculptures and walkways and places to sit and relax and reflect and they've just escaped from the hustle and bustle of the city. Ayala Gardens Triangle was the centre of the Philippines' first airport. There's a control tower which is Nielsen's tower. This looks like it's the old control tower. Nielsen's Tower, because the airfield was on Nielsen's Field. So this building was the control tower for the very first international airport in the Philippines. It's now a fancy restaurant by the looks of it. But it's nice to see that a historical building like this is well maintained and looked after. I'm standing on the site of the Philippines' first runway of the first international airport. This is Ayala Avenue. If I'd been walking down here 80 years ago, there would have been planes flying over my head. This is a Google Earth image of Makati, and the red triangle indicates Ayala Triangular Gardens. If I put an image in the corner of the first airport, then drag the image over Triangular Gardens and you'll be able to see exactly how it fits. I'll leave the park behind me now, head down the underpass. I'm on my way to Greenbelt Mall. I'm in Makati because I'm flying to the UK tomorrow. And the people in the UK may be expecting a few gifts from the Philippines, so that's one of my aims today, to buy some gifts for the people back in the UK. It's all very pedestrian friendly for an inner city location. There's lots of pedestrian zones only, traffic free areas, subways and overpasses just to protect the pedestrian. It's quite green and it's quite relaxing for an inner city location. At the heart of the Greenbelt Mall is a garden, a park. And I'd rather spend time walking around the park than looking through some shops with branded goods in them, as you can probably tell by the way I dress actually. It's probably the park that lends the name to the series of malls anyway, the Green Belt. It's at the centre of all the malls and it has walkways, waterworks, sculptures, it's even got a church. Greenbelt Mall is quite upmarket, it's quite uh, upscaled mall in the middle of Makati. It hasn't just got shops, it's got lots of restaurants and I'm going to look at the prices of the food. You've even got a church in the centre of the park, in the centre of the mall. And these guys are putting up the Christmas decorations because it's September, which means it's Christmas in the Philippines. Gentle Carabao. Greenbelt Mall is five malls all together, all linked together with uh, pedestrian walkways. But they've all got their own personality as well. They've all got the, the big brands, uh, the branded goods. Uh, it's quite slick, it's well put together. 
Uh, it's got a cinema if you want to come and watch a movie. It's got a bowling alley if you want to come and bowl. You can relax in the parks and you can eat and drink in the many, many restaurants. I'm just going now to look at the prices of some of the things and then I'm going to find somewhere to eat. Some other things you can go and see to pass the time. Filipino breakfast for 680, French toast 480, English breakfast 590. Quite pricey. <laughs> Although the price varies in a lot of the places, it's still quite a pricey place to come and eat. Pricey, expensive. So let's go and have a look and see what else, see what alternatives I can find. Um, Bangus and mango with, with rice. So this is when I buy mongo with bangus or milk fish which is a national fish of the Philippines. Rice of course, soy sauce with chili in which will be for the lumpia here and also for the bangus and the lime, the Philippine lime squeezes into this soy sauce. This is the kind of food you're looking for and you want to save some pesos instead of eating in an expensive restaurant. You'll find this in the food court in the basement of Landmark which is behind Green Belt number four. And all for the same sum of 200 pesos or 220 pesos which is what? It was just over three pounds if I'd stayed where I was, the bangus and the mongo was 680. 680 in Green Belt 3. This is the locale shop in the mall. The locale shop sells Philippine products. Food products like dried mango or banana chips, pili nuts, other nut products. Um, and it's from this shop that I would choose some gifts to take back to the UK. Some local Philippine products to take back to the UK. And that's where I'll be buying the goodies for the gifts for the UK. I've just bought them actually but I can't show you because the video will be online before they've actually opened it and I don't want to spoil the surprise. I just hope I haven't gone over my weight limit for the baggage on the plane. And I hope they enjoy the local goods from the Philippines also.